So the first question from this topic is, let me write the question first, then we will solve it. 5814 divided by cube root of 39304 is equal to square root of a question mark multiplied by 9. This is a question given and four five options are also given to you. Let me write the options. What are the options given here? 841, 361. Then 576, 225. 576, 225 and 529. So you have a question here and five options are also given. You have to solve it and find out the correct answer from the given option. And the minimum required time, minimum time which is required to solve this question is 20 seconds. So within 20 seconds, you have to solve this. 20 or maximum 25 seconds, you have to mark the correct answer. For that, I told you, you have to understand what is the cube root of this number by looking at this number. For this reason only, I told how to find the cube root of this big number. We have already a video. We, you can search in the YouTube and description also given in the, in the, in the, I mean, the link is also given in the description. You can watch that first then it will be easy for you to solve this type of questions. Okay, let us go with this question. What is given here? 5814. So let me write it as 5814 and practice with more and more questions. So then your speed will definitely increase. Now divided by cube root of this number, what actually we have to do from the right, remember from the right after three digit put the comma. From the right after three digit, make a separation, put the com comma and take this number 39 and this number 304. 39, which is the perfect cube before 39. The perfect cube before 39 is 27. 3 cube is 27. 1 cube, 1. 2 cube, 8. 3 cube, 27. 4 cube, 64. So we don't have 64 here. We have only 39. So before 39, the perfect cube is 27. What is the cube root? 3. So this number, the answer, first part of the answer will be 3. And you can see last number is 4. So what is the number which will end up with which 4? The cube, cube of which number will end up with the 4? 1 cube, 1. 2 cube, 8. Here you can say 4 cube. 4 fours are 4 cube. So what is that, that, what, what is that uh, uh, number which end up with the 4? See, that, that, that single digit which, we, which, which will end up with a single digit, you have to remember that 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube. 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125. Like that when we write, here 1, here 8, here 7, here 4, here 5. So the last digit with the end with the 4, the cube root will be 4. So last digit end with the 4, cube root will be 4. So answer is this number is 34. You can write that 34 here. If you watch that video, it will be very easy for you. Then this 9 is in multiplication here. If I take that to this side, it will become division is equal to root of question mark. I hope you understood it very clearly. Now you can cut it. How many times? Cut it directly. 9 here. 6 9s are 54. Balance 4, 41. 41 again uh, 4 times. 4 9s are 36. Then 5, 54. 6 times. So you can cut 34 and 64. 1, 9 times. 
so 19 19 is equal to square root of which number so that is why i told you students you have to remember the square and square root up to 30 square and square root up to 30 which number the square root of which number is 19 we know the square root of 361 is 19 so 361 is the correct option from the given options understand very clearly what is the important thing we need to understand here is we should know how to find the cube root of a given number so we got the cube root of this number 34 how to calculate the cube root of this number which is already explained in the previous video link is given in the description kindly watch that then it will be easy for you then put that value here and take this 9 to this side it becomes division and find the value and do the simplifications once you calc once you practice this type of questions you can easily solve this type of questions within 20 to 25 seconds kindly note it then we'll go to the next question next question is let me write the question 203 minus 7 into 12 is equal to 87 percentage of question mark there's a question given 203 minus 7 into 12 is equal to 87 percentage of what so options are also given to you let me let me write the options also The options are 200, 150, 400. These all are the previous year questions. 600 and 750. So 203 minus 7 into 12 is equal to 87 percentage of which number? So we don't know 87 percentage of what number we don't know. So let us take that number as X. So, this is equal to 87 by 100 into x. That is 87 percentage. You need not to write all these things in your exam. Do it. Maximum calculations you can do without pen and paper. Mental calculations. 87 percentage. To denote that percentage, I have written 100 here. 87 by 100 into x. Here, 203 into 7 minus 7 divided, multiplied by 12. So, what we can do here? 203 here it is division not minus sorry the question it is division so this will become 203 divided by 7 into 12 203 divided by 7 into 12 send it here it is division so 203 divided by 7 into 12 now how many times here 7 2 times 14 63 9 so this 29 and 87 you can calculate cut three times so this 3 and 12 you can cut four times so 4 is equal to x by 100 that means x is equal to how much cross multiply 4 into 100 so you got the correct answer c simplification you have to do very fast 203 divided by 7 multiplied by 12 divided by 7 multiplied by 12 is equal to 87 percentage of x write it and cancel it common terms and find the answer fast practice with more and more questions and then your speed will definitely increase the complete sample paper is given in the app trace the learning app download the app today and practice more okay you can download the complete sample paper video classes pdf notes all study materials absolutely free from the app trace the learning app the link is given in the description kindly download it today and take your preparations to the next level so kindly note it and let us go to the next question the next question is 343 343 into 344 square plus 345 plus 1 
in a whole bracket to the power 1 by 3 is equal to what? To the power 1 by 3. 1 by 3 means it is cube root. Cube root equal to what? Four options are also given. Let me write the options. What are the options given? 343, 344, 345, 244 and 27. So these are the options given. You have to solve this question. One of the very very important question and Within seconds, you can solve this if you understand the clear concept of this question. If you understand the clear concept or the basic formula used here, we can solve it within seconds. So understand it clearly how we can solve these type of questions asked in the topic simplification. You can do it like this 343 I can write as 344 minus 1. And what I am doing, I am writing this 344 as 344 only. This 345, I can write 344 plus 1. This 345, 344 plus 1. And then plus this 1, 1 by 3. Simple thing what I have done is, I have just elaborated it. 343, 344 minus 1. Here 344 square. 345, 344 plus 1 and this plus 1. Now if you see this part, if you see this part, here you can use a simple formula what we have learned in small classes. A minus B, here A square plus A into B plus AB plus B square. Here A is 344, B is 1. A is 3 double 4, B is 1. A square, 3 double 4 square. B square, 1 square. 1 square is 1 only. And A into B, 3 double 4 into 1, this 3 double 4. Plus, this 1 will come. 1 by 3. Understand very clearly what I did. 344 minus 1, I can write A minus B. A square plus AB plus B square, that is A square plus AB plus B square, this line. And then here this 1, I have written 1, power 1 by 3. So now if you see, A square plus AB plus B square, this is equal to A cube minus B cube. This part I can write as A cube minus B cube. So A cube is what? This is cube. 344 cube. A cube is 344 cube minus B cube is what? 1 cube. B cube is 1 cube. And plus this 1. Plus 1. Power 1 by 3. So 1 cube is 1 only. Minus 1 and plus 1 I can cancel. So, I got a 344 cube power 1 by 3, which is equal to 344 cube power 1 by 3. 3 and 3 cancelled. The answer is 344. So, from the given options, I can mark the correct option as B, that is 344. So, if you understand this simple formula, these type of questions are very, very easy in simplification. So, students, what I actually want to tell you, when you solve these type of questions in your exam, you need not to write all these steps. Directly you can write this line. Here you have A minus B and here you have A plus B. So A minus B, A plus B. So 344 minus 1, 344 plus 1. So you understand from here itself, A is equal to 344 and B is equal to 1. So, from all this part, you can make it as 344 square cube minus 1 cube. 344 cube minus 1 cube. From this particular line, you can write this line. Then, plus this 1. So, 1 and 1 get cancelled. 
थ्री फोर्टी फोर क्यूब पावर वन बाई थ्री विल बिकम थ्री फोर्टी फोर सो फ्रॉम हियर इट सेल्फ यू कैन राइट द आंसर डायरेक्टली इफ यू प्रैक्टिस दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन मोर एंड मोर okay once your concept is clear how we got this answer for that a purpose of explanation only i have written all these lines but once you practice this type of questions by taking more and more questions when you practice answering this questions need only 5 to 10 seconds okay so practice it with more and more questions then let us go to the next question so here is your next question 30.6 परसेंटेज ऑफ 2940, 2940 इज इक्वल टू व्हाट? सो फॉर ऑप्शन आर ऑल्सो गिवन Eight sixty one point nine two, and E is none of this. Five options are also given. This is the question. So how to solve this question? Thirty point six percentage of two nine four zero is equal to what? The question mark is given. So thirty point six percentage. I can write as what? Thirty point six by hundred. Multiplied by of two nine four zero, two nine four zero. So now you can see here I can cut this zero and zero. Cut that zero and zero. Now what I can do is I can make this three hundred and six by hundred into two ninety four. Three hundred and six. I am multiplying by ten here, so you have to multiply by ten here. So this will become three hundred and six. Here will become ten into ten hundred. So three hundred and six is actually what? Three hundred plus six. Two ninety four is what? Three hundred minus six divided by hundred. So a plus b into a minus b. A square minus b square. That is three hundred square minus. Six square by hundred, so three hundred square is ninety thousand minus six square is thirty six divided by hundred. So I got what thirty six sixty four eight nine nine six four divided by hundred. I got eight ninety nine point six four. Eight ninety nine point six four. So accordingly, I can mark the correct option. Eight ninety nine point six four. A minus B into A plus B. A square minus B square. A cube minus B cube. All these are algebraic identities which we have learned in small classes. Those identities we will be using throughout the topic simplification. So based on these identities, more and more questions we will be solving in the session two and session three. Okay, so the complete algebraic identities are given in the app. Kindly download the app from Google Play Store, and the link is also given in the description. Kindly download the uh, app, trace the learning app, and learn these algebraic identities. Okay, and you can download the sample papers, PDF notes, video classes. All study materials are absolutely free in that. Okay, so kindly download it today and prepare well.